again. Welcome back to the next edition of Country Cooking. Um, today's show, I'm by myself. I have no guests. Um, we are going to do a chicken broccoli alfredo stuffed jumbo shells. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the best ever lemonade. What we're going to do is make a simple syrup out of fresh squeezed lemons, which I squeezed last night. Um, and then we are going to do crescent cheese sticks that we actually deep fry. So we're kind of doing like a little bit of Olive Garden um, Italian type. But with the summer coming up, this lemonade will be something that's refreshing. And I'm going to do mine with blueberries. So that's what we have in store for you guys for this show. And first of all, we need to get the simple syrup going so that it can get somewhat cool. So it calls for one cup of water. And then you need a, um, one cup of sugar. So it's one to one. So if you want to make a large batch, just remember as much water as you're using, use as much sugar. And we're going to put this on the stove to cook until the sugar starts to dissolve. And what the recipe had said was that if you're using, they're using fresh fruit, I'm using frozen, to put your fresh blueberries or your strawberries, or if you want to do a peach, whatever fruit you're using, you should put that in now so that as the sugar and water starts to cook, it softens your fruit. Being these are frozen blueberries, we're going to wait and add those a little later, but you want your fruit to leach some of its color into your sugar water mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the stove. for a little bit while I start on the next part. The next thing that um, we are going to do is the jumbo stuff pasta shells. And I already cooked the pasta noodles because they take 15 minutes. Then you're supposed to let them cool and set aside. And you know, it just takes a lot of time. Everybody knows how to cook pasta. Um, the box tells you about 14 minutes. You don't want to overcook and especially with this recipe because they are going to go in the oven, a 350 degree oven along with the sauce and the other stuff that we're adding to it. So they'll finish cooking the rest of the way through. So we'll go ahead and bring these over. They're, they're draining a bit. So we're going to need a large bowl to mix the other ingredients. And we want um, one jar of Alfredo sauce. If you're a super good cook and you have a favorite homemade recipe for Alfredo sauce, go ahead and use it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use store-bought. It's easy. Okay, um, so we're gonna take and get all of our pasta sauce out of here. It's one of them days and it's just starting. That's okay, it, it'll work. Okay, so once we got our pasta in the bowl, we're gonna go ahead and add two cups of shredded chicken. Um, I kinda shredded, chopped, diced, however you wanna say it. So we're gonna add that. And the reason I prepped as much of this ahead of time, and you can do this at home too, you don't have to wait and do it the day of. Like um, your chicken you can cook ahead of time. I baked it in the oven so it doesn't have all that extra fat and grease. Then um, you can let it get down to where you can handle it, shred it and throw it in your fridge. And then the next day when you come home from work or when you're ready to get lunch or supper ready, it's all ready for you. It saves a little time that way. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and add the broccoli and it's steamed broccoli. Um, you can use frozen. I need to get a cutting board. You can use fresh. Um, if it's frozen, you really don't need to steam it because when it's frozen, it kind of gets steamed already before they put it in the bags. So you can see this is tender, pretty tender and stuff. We're just gonna cut it up into smaller pieces because we're gonna try to stuff this into those shells. Here again, if you remember from one other show that where I had broccoli, I kind of used just the tops. 
You can use the, the stem parts too, but I just think the tops are better. My husband's not here to give it to him to, to eat those. I have to stir this. Okay, that's actually boiling, so we're just gonna shut it off and let it sit there a minute. Um, I'll finish getting the broccoli cut up, and then we will go ahead and put the um, blueberries in that so that the colors can leach for the lemonade. And what it is is um, two cups of cooked steamed broccoli. So this should be pretty good when we get to the end there. You can even buy broccoli in the store frozen and already chopped if you really want to take the easy way out. And this here is um, kind of like a healthy, not so healthy. Broccoli's healthy. The pasta's not so healthy, but it's good. And I like Alfredo sauce. I don't care for red sauce. Um, some people do mix the marinara sauce along with the Alfredo sauce, but it's almost like chicken and Alfredo go better together than chicken and marinara. But if you want, you can do it with the marinara sauce versus the Alfredo sauce. Or maybe you want to change the hamburger or change the chicken to hamburger instead of chicken, you know, and then I would use a red marinara sauce. That looks big. And then you need to add one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. didn't work. We'll just cut the whole thing down below and put the remainder in. This just had water in it, so we'll be okay. And then you need a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. and then you just stir this all together. So see, this is all pretty simple. I mean, get off work at five o'clock, you could still have supper ready by six or 6.30 if you prepped everything the night before. Um, we're trying to remember to give you guys little cooking tips on the show here as we do, and George, my famous guest that you guys have seen several times, wrote me a big list of handy tips, but this time I'm not using one of George's tips. I'm gonna use a tip a different way. We are going to take and put um, the stuffed shells in a pan. So we're gonna use the other jar of sauce on the bottom. And you don't have to use the whole thing because we can drizzle the rest over the top of the shells. And then just shake it around so that the bottom is coated. And then your pasta won't stick to your pan. Okay, here's the handy tip. When you're working with jumbo shells like this, and these are jumbo, they're big, the recipe calls for 21. If you have a cookie scoop, this is so much easier to fill your shells with a cookie scoop than it is to stand there and try to do it with a spoon. And then you just fold it down inside there and go ahead and set it in your pan. And I think I cooked more than 21 because they don't always stay in one piece. So we'll just go ahead and fill these. If they look funny, just reform them. And if they don't want to hold their shape, just push it up against another one. Okay. I think while I stuff these, um, we'll let Valley take you to a commercial. Remember, the recipes that we're doing on today's show will be on Valley's homepage. Um, don't have internet access? That's okay. Call the office. The girls will gladly make you copies. Um, have recipes you want to share? We'd love to have it on, on the show. Send them into the office. And if you'd like, we'd even like to have you be a guest. So think about it. It's fun. I enjoy it. So we'll be back in just a minute. 
Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. This is the team you want on your side. Taking you to the future with hometown pride. Broadband TV, phone services too. Bringing the latest technology home, home to you. Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. Okay, so we've got the stuffed shells done. I stuffed them. Um, then with the remainder of the Alfredo sauce, we're gonna go ahead and just pour it over the top of the shells. And then we are going to put it in the oven for 35 minutes, covered with foil, uh, 350 degree oven. Oh, these look so good. Okay, so this is what the dish looks like when we get done. We gotta get foil out, and then we will pop this in the oven, and then we will go back to our lemonade. Well, these bake. And, um, like I said, I'm using frozen blueberries on the lemonade. I have some strawberries in the fridge. I think we're gonna have some time where we can actually do another batch of the lemonade because with the lemon juice that I squeezed last night, it says on the recipe to add one half cup to one cup of lemon juice, depending on taste. So we're gonna make them small and we're gonna use a half a cup each and we're gonna do a blueberry and a strawberry. So um, we'll put this aside and I'll be back in a minute. Pick the offer that's right for you with Valley Cellular. Choose either a $100 signing bonus on a 300 minute plan or higher, or free companion lines for six months on family plans of 700 minutes or more. Valley Wireless is nationwide cellular service with local customer service. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great offer. Okay, we've got the pop, stuffed pasta shells in the oven baking. Like I said, that's for about 35 minutes until they're heated through and I need to set a timer. So we'll do that for 30 minutes and we can check them. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna make some um, cheese sticks, breaded cheese sticks, but they gotta be deep fried. So I thought, well, we'll go ahead and make a strawberry lemonade also. So you guys can see how with fresh fruit it works. Um, you want to just cut your fruit up fairly small because it will uh, leach out its color a lot quicker if there's smaller pieces. Um, summertime coming up, the lemon juice and the simple syrup, you can keep that for quite a while in the fridge. I think it said for up to like two weeks. Um, don't quote me yet. Wait and check Valley's homepage to make sure. Um, Lisa will have it posted on there so we don't tell somebody wrong and they end up getting sick because their simple syrup got bad on them. Um, here again, it's one cup of sugar, one cup of water, and one cup of fruit. So it's a pretty one to one to one. Right? Yeah, one. And um, I'll just cut this up quick. And then after we get this done, we'll have time for these to cool while that's still baking, and then we'll start de getting the um, deep fried cheese sticks done. And then that'll be the end of our show after all this is done. And then we'll have our, you don't put the tops in. Um, you don't want that green floating in your lemonade. If you want green in there, do it with a fresh strawberry when you um, garnish your lemonade when you get ready to serve it. I think one more should be close to a cup. And we can use the others for garnishes. Okay, and we're going to do the same with this. We're going to put it on the oven, bring it to a boil so that it can simmer. You want to stir that sugar so that it doesn't cook on the bottom of your pan. And then we will go ahead and get out the next ingredients that we need. Okay, then um, the third recipe we're gonna do today is called Crescent Cheese Sticks. 
And what it is is you take a roll of your crescent, crescent rolls from the dairy section in the refrigerator or at the store, and you just open it up. I hate these things, they always pop and scare me so bad. That one wasn't so bad. Okay, and you just open it up. And you're gonna unwind each crescent. So you'll have eight of them. So you're gonna want eight cheese sticks. Maybe I should have prepped these too, huh? No, I'm kidding. All right, and then we're just gonna pull off a cheese stick and we are going to put it on the crescent and you're gonna to wanna to bring it around so that it covers all of the cheese. So fold it in. You may have to stretch a little bit so that it goes around the cheese. Fold your ends in first and then yeah, my cheese stick is too long for the crescent, so we're going to have to cut this off a bit. Because you want to make sure that the cheese is enclosed because these are going to get deep fried in hot oil. And if you don't have all that cheese enclosed inside of the pastry, you're going to have a mess in your um, frying pan and oil. Kind of like doing an egg roll. Pinch, pinch the ends then and make sure that everything's covered good. You can even roll it for tight. And that's how you do that. And we're going to make eight of these. My strawberries are boiling. We're going to continue to let that simmer for a little bit while I finish working on this. And again, we're just gonna cut the ends off of all of these. You can throw them back in the fridge and eat them for snack. Edges up. Start rolling. Make sure it's sealed. Got broccoli in there. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. Did you notice the second one went better? Now the third one's getting even better yet. Look, we're not gonna have any cheese hanging out. I'm gonna roll it up, pinch the ends, roll it together. Helps if you stretch your paste free a little bit. And if you're having a bunch of people over, you want to kind of plan on one or two per, per person. So then of course you're going to have to buy more crescent rolls and stuff. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but being this recipe calls for them to be deep fried. I was talking before the show, I wonder what it would be like just to bake these because they do bake in a quite hot oven, like a 400 degree oven for, what is it, 15 to 18 minutes? And I would think that would be enough where your cheese stick is going to get gooey. And we have a mess. We'll just pull that off and we'll see the cleaning ladies coming tomorrow. Just kidding. <laughs> Mother's Day is over with. I didn't get a gift, so I'll tell my husband I want a cleaning lady for a day, and then she can come in and clean up that messy stove.
Got three more here and then we'll get the oil heated up. I hate to turn the oil on when I got my back to it, sorry. So you're just gonna have to be patient with me on this. Or if Valley's got a break commercial they'd like to send us to, we can do that and I'll finish up these last three while you guys are watching their commercial. Keep up to date with all the latest news and offers from Valley and get in on some fun contests and giveaways. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Okay, um, I think our grease is about hot enough to go ahead. We're gonna deep fry these and I did put one in the oven so we can bake it and see how it is for you people that are more health conscious and don't wanna deep fry. We'll see if it works to bake them. And it says just to do a couple at a time so that you can actually turn them as they get golden brown. So we will do three, now we'll do four the first time around. Oh, you don't even have to turn them, they turn on their own. But you wanna let them get golden brown and then you wanna have them on a couple sheets of paper towel to catch the excess grease as you take them out. And I better turn my oil down. I think it's getting a little bit hot. And it doesn't take long at all, I can tell you that. It's kind of like that fry bread. And now I got it too low. see some cheese wanting to ooze out so maybe I better pull them out. They look good. And when you're working with hot grease you really want to be careful so that you don't burn yourself. Grease burn is one of the worst burns a person can get. Um, if you have a deep fryer, use it. If you don't, you can be like me and pour some in a frying pan. And the way these things are spinning in here, I think you could actually get by with maybe even just a half an inch of grease in the bottom of your pan, because they're turning on their own. Um, they're getting done. You might have to hold them in place a little bit so that they don't want to keep rolling. I have one that here wants to keep putting the blonde side up and the golden side down. And I think that these will be done. They'll be cold by the time we get ready to plate. But we have nine minutes and 43 minutes, 43 seconds left before our um, shells are done. And then we'll see if that baked one comes is about ready then too and we'll mix up our lemonade our flavored lemonade and let you guys see what that's like and that'll be what we're doing today these are fairly easy recipes i know you ladies don't want to heat up your oven or your stove with um deep frying stuff in the summer months but as you can see it really didn't take that long to do these so that would be an option for a twist on your italian we'll take these back over here and i'll meet you back over at the Okay, now we're going to go back to our uh, best ever lemonade and the recipe is actually making two quarts. So if you have um, your one cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, there's nothing added to this. It's just straight powerful lemon juice. Um, it's making my glands salivate <laughs> because it's so lemony. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to we're guessing these are about a 12 ounce glass. So I'm gonna do a scant quarter cup of the lemon juice, because I'm gonna do both flavors. And then we are going to add cold water. And I should have had my pitcher with cold water in it already. Because you're supposed to bring it up to, it says combine enough lemon juice with the sugar water and add enough water to make two quarts. So we're adding lemon juice with blueberry water, the blueberry sugar water. Then we are going to add some regular water to dilute all that sugar and potency. We're gonna stir it up. 
we're gonna add a few of these frozen blueberries that are now cooked blueberries. And I will add ice cubes here in a minute. We're gonna do the same thing with the strawberries. Again, a scant quarter cup. I need to take some of the strawberries off the top so I can pour this water. And you can see it's, it's thicker than regular water when you pour it, so it is a syrup. Make it a mess. And there again, we're gonna add some regular water. And we're gonna wanna add some um, ice cubes to it to chill it down. So I'm gonna turn my back on you as I grab some ice. And if you're using fresh fruit, you can drop some fresh blueberries on top of there. Beans, we're doing um, strawberry here. I don't think I have enough strawberry syrup in this one. You got your color. Let's stir it up. Add a few slices of fruit to the top to give it a little extra punch of color. Then you can get real fancy and add fancy little straws to it and you are ready to serve your best ever lemonade with made with simple syrup and fresh fruit of your choice. So we've got our lemonade. Now we're going to go ahead and plate up our stuff. Um, the deep fried crescent rolls, you always want a test kitchen. I've told you guys this before in the past and you would think after doing this for a, for a full year, I would know to test kitchen. I didn't test kitchen this. So what we're doing here is um, hoping one of these, the cheese hasn't fallen off, um, so that you guys can see how it works. And we actually took one and didn't even deep fry it. We baked it instead. And I think this here might be a way to go. So we added butter on top, some uh, Parmesan cheese and some garlic salt. So we'll cut those open in a minute. We're gonna go ahead and spoon up a couple of these stuffed pasta shells. Put that there. Add some marinara sauce. Cut this open. See, oh yeah, this here is like a good stuffed cheese stick. And this one turned out okay too. So if you want, you can deep fry and then bake for a little while. Keep an eye on them so that they don't burn and all your cheese oozes out. So this is what we have for this show this week. Um, broccoli Alfredo stuffed jumbo shells. Um, best ever lemonade made with blueberry syrup, simple syrup and strawberry simple syrup. Like I said, any fresh fruit will work, whatever you like. Um, and then our crescent cheese sticks that were deep fried then baked to finish off so that the dough inside actually got done because when we deep fried them they didn't get done so you're learning from my mistake please don't do that um that's the end of the show for this week please check back um as i've said in the past all of our recipes are on valley's homepage. um you can like us on facebook you can email or message the valley office on facebook with recipes you want to share yeah, you think you're ready to, now that the sun's coming out and you're going to get a tan, you think you want to be on TV, I'd love to have a guest come cook with me in my kitchen. Um, it's fun. So thanks again for joining us for this edition of Country Cooking, and we will be back with you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.